process. So, pretty excited. We're actually all moved into our new building. You can see we have a lot more room than the old shop. And we're actually about doubled in size now. So, we've, we've been working really hard just getting set up here, getting everything going. You can see all the new, new projects we got going. We actually have 10 builds going right now. So, it, it's unbelievable how many bikes we're actually gonna be pumping out. And of course, tons and tons of orders for kits and other uh, power sports parts that we make. I just wanna give you guys a little tour of the shop here. Flip the camera around. Start with the front. Look at you, working hard. Always. So this is a little sales counter area. Keep in mind guys, everything is a mess right now. We're more focused on getting orders done than uh, organizing at the moment, but we are shut down to the public anyway. This will be the uh, showroom area. We're gonna have a couple bikes on display in here. Everything's covered up because we are shut down, like I said. Don't need anybody peeping in right now anyway. But uh, yeah, you can see how the counter area is sitting over there. It's kind of set back. So we plan to have a handful of machines lined up here in the center. Get some uh, parts hung up on the walls again. Nothing too crazy. We're, uh, we're shying away from the everyday power sports uh, sale. We're gonna be focusing more on machining, welding, fabrication, and of course, all of our uh, products that we ship out all over the world. But we've just become really busy with that. So you're gonna see some big transitions going on in this building versus the old one. This is going to be where our vinyl printing area is we'll print out this direction so we'll have our printer on this wall possibly over here we're not sure yet but most likely on this wall printing this direction still going to be doing the uh, graphics uh, car wrap signage all that stuff um, just like we did before added a window here just so we could actually see out into the shop and check out the mills Shipping area, all over snap on boxes. So, pretty much, we, uh, we actually picked up a VF2 SS just to help speed up production. So, when a part's coming off that machine, it can go over on the TM2 for OP2. The, the Tormach, I mean, we do use it for things like chain sliders, pivot tubes, things like that. Um, it just doesn't have the horsepower to keep up with the orders. So, Anyway, show you the milling machines. List of parts we gotta make. Still getting everything hung up. Welding station. Got all of the Everlast welders. Plasma table. This is actually going outside. We built a uh, compressor room outside, get all the noise out. Yeah, table fits good right there. Got our powder coat oven set up. Got some parts we just finished up. Not bad, eight foot tall, four by four, but can't tell you the amount of parts we've actually baked in this oven. Everything is done in-house. Here's the sandblast room. A little messy right now. Sandblaster. Got some parts hanging up. Well, they're gonna get done. Let's go back through here, back to the other side. Again, we have a snap-on box addiction here. Of course, we like to stay as organized as possible. Uh, you can see we added some new cabinets. Those are made by Gladiator. A couple boxes, we had those before. These are the old cabinets from the other shop. We actually hung those up just because. Always need more storage. We bought a couple more, uh, couple more tables here. So about quadrupled our uh, table space in this building. Let's 
snap-on tire changing equipment. Had that in the old shop too. So really the newest addition in this building is, I guess that air compressor, because that was here um, in the VF2 SS. And of course cabinets and more organizing. But uh, we also have a forklift now when we're breaking our backs. So yeah, keep an eye out for uh, Honda Talon parts. We got a bunch of ideas coming for that. So if you guys are into side-by-sides, be on the lookout for that. See my wife in there and spy on her here while she's on the phone talking to customers. Yeah, I'm just a newbie with taking selfie videos. So sorry if I keep moving the camera around a little bit, but uh, I'll give you guys a view behind the mills. I don't have my lathe here yet. That should be in the next couple days. It's actually gonna be behind here. Um, just simple things when you're setting your shop up. Uline has some pretty sweet storage racks, so we're keeping all of our, all of our inventory ready to roll. There's, there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of pieces that go into any kind of production. Yeah, guys, that's our new shop. It's coming together. We've got the black walls. I'm sure you saw that in the pictures. But uh, we're pretty excited about it. It's It's been a long road to get here. We bought this building January 2nd. We've actually been working on it since August of last year. So it's been quite the quite the process to get into actually owning, owning a building. Um, we were leasing our other location. We're just transitioning over. But uh, all the builds, the work, all that stuff's gonna take place in this building. So that's what I've been up to during the whole Corona scare. Um, I don't sit home and you know, hang out and eat Cheetos. Uh, I'm just way too busy for that. But uh, we are limited staff right now. It's really just my wife and I getting some stuff done. It is what it is. So we're just gonna ride this thing out and keep making parts. Parts do ship every day, just at a slower pace. Um, I've had some occasional help here and there, but uh, Yep, so that door is going to get painted black pretty soon. Um, both of them actually, we're going to be redoing the whole outside of the building as soon as we're allowed to do uh, essential construction. Um, yeah, so we pretty much got shut down with uh, any kind of building work, but luckily we were already done. So let me know what you think. Um, again, a lot of exciting builds coming. Take another look at those. Got a 2020 Sierra 450R. That's the uh, works edition. Another 2020. This is a WR450 Yamaha. Um, some other builds that are in the works. We still have this KTM here. We're finishing up a different subframe design on it. The Tri-Z has just been lingering. We've been crazy busy with everything and it's uh, sometimes tough to get parts for them. So that's still lingering a little bit. Um, I can show you the motors for the other projects. Sierra 500. Sierra 450, that's actually a 2011, I believe, and a uh, 2007 Sierra 450X. So keep, be on the lookout for those builds too. Um, those are coming apart. Everything's getting rebuilt, powder coated, all new engine parts put back together. And we're gonna be powder coating the frames. So hope you guys uh, like the tour. I've been trying to get on YouTube more and, and make more videos. We've just been really busy with the move. And like I said, limited staff, it's kind of, put me at a standstill with, with all the internet stuff. So if I don't reply fast right away, just give us a call, 518-563-3699. My wife answers every single call and email that we get. If we miss your email due to the spam folder, try calling us or try emailing again. We really do appreciate the patience. So if you guys like what you see, please uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, comment what you wanna see in the future. You know, there's, there's a lot more builds that are gonna be coming, but uh, sure you've noticed uh, the trend of the four strokes. We want to do more two strokes. Again, there is a 500 coming. If there's something else you want to see, comment below. Thanks guys. Thank you for the support.